This happened just about a week ago. I'm 20 years old, and I live with my parents during the summer. However, they went out of town for some of their friend's wedding, and I wasn't invited. This was fine with me, though, because I didn't really know the people anyways, and it's kind of fun to have the whole house to myself. We have a split-level house, and my bedroom is at the front end of it. But on Friday night, I stayed up really late watching a movie in the living room. I like that TV better because it's much bigger than mine. The couch in the living room is also super comfortable, so I just decided to sleep there for the night. Anyways, I woke up Saturday morning, and it was still super dark in the house. In the living room, we had a sliding glass door that connects to the deck in the back. The blinds were covering most of it, and that's the main source of light, but there was maybe a five-foot gap to look out, and I saw that it was raining. I then looked at the clock, and it was almost 9.30 a.m. I was just sitting there on the couch and turned on the TV, when all of a sudden, I heard two knocks at the front door. They weren't really hard knocks, sort of light, and immediately, my heart started pounding. I know it's not a big deal just to get knocks on the door, but we lived towards the end of a dead-end road, and our neighborhood was very quiet wasn't very big and it was extremely rare for anybody to knock on our doors for any reason. Maybe it's also because I'm a shy person, but it made me really nervous for some reason. From where I was sitting on the couch, I was just barely around the corner and I couldn't see the front door, and whoever was at the front door probably couldn't see me, at least I was hoping they couldn't see me. I was wondering who it could possibly be, especially in the middle of pouring rain. Then I remembered something. I had ordered an Amazon package and was expecting it today. Suddenly, I felt so much better and started to relax. I opened up my Amazon app on my phone and clicked on my orders, expecting to see that it was delivered. But when I looked, it said it wouldn't arrive until 5 p.m. that day. Suddenly, I went back to being super nervous. I decided to carefully look out and see if anyone was at the door. It had now been maybe a minute or two since they had originally knocked, and they hadn't knocked again since. I slowly moved to look out the window, and when I did, I saw that nobody was there now. This made me feel a little better now that they were gone, but right at that moment, I heard the noise of somebody walking up the stairs of our back deck. I couldn't see because of the blinds covering most of the sliding glass door, but I then heard footsteps on the deck. I started shaking, and the next thing I knew, I saw a man appear in the opening of the sliding glass door where you could see outside. He was staring right at me, but had no expression on his face. He was bald and wore a black jacket and black pants. The guy then tried sliding the door open. Thankfully, it was locked, but I knew if he really wanted to, he could probably break the glass between us. I ran away into the bathroom that was just down the hall. I had no idea who this guy was or what he was doing here. I had been right to be so nervous about this for seemingly no reason. As I closed the bathroom door and locked it, that's when I heard the first loud bang against the window as if he was going to try to break it. I knew I needed to call the police, but then I realized that I didn't have my phone. I had left it back out in the living room. I heard another loud bang from the window, but I didn't hear glass breaking. I knew it was a risk, but I opened the door back up and ran out to the living room couch. I looked around frantically and finally saw my phone. Then I made another mad dash for the bathroom. As I was, another bang came from the window. I looked back at the man as I ran. I saw he had been kicking at the glass and trying to break it. I got back into the bathroom and locked the door again. Then I called 911 on my phone. As soon as the operator answered, I told them everything. They told me to slow down and repeat what was going on. That's when I heard the sound of glass breaking. I repeated what was happening as best as I could. And just after that, I heard the sound of the man starting to walk inside the house. He was walking straight for the bathroom that I was in. When he got to the doorway, he tried the door, and it wouldn't open because it was locked. I backed away from it and went into the shower. The 911 operator said that they would stay on the line with me, which made me feel a little bit better because I was terrified. The man then started to bang on the bathroom door, and my phone suddenly went silent. I looked at it and saw that it had died. I hadn't plugged it in the previous night. I figured the man was kicking on the door the same way he had been kicking on the sliding glass door, and I knew he would probably break this as well. I heard him walk away for a minute and then go down the stairs that we had. He was gone for maybe a full minute and then I heard him return. There was another loud bang against the bathroom door, but this one sounded much harder. I think he had found one of the baseball bats we had in our house or something. This made me even more terrified than I already was. I grabbed the towels we had in the bathroom and covered myself. I then went into the small bathroom closet we had and closed that door. 
I just barely fit in there, but I had to do what I could. The guy hit at the door a few more times, and it really sounded like he was breaking it now, but that noise was interrupted by another one. It was the noise of a loud knock on the front door. I could barely hear someone shouting police. I hoped they would be able to get inside fast, and just after that, I heard the man walking away towards the back of the house where he had gotten in. I stayed hidden, and a short time later, I heard a bunch of shouting. Eventually, I heard someone yelling, put it down. When I finally heard the voice of multiple officers inside my house, I finally came out of the bathroom. They had literally gotten there just in the nick of time, and the man had been caught. I'm really lucky how fast the police were to arrive that day. This was very recent, and I'm still a little shook up about it, but I'm just happy to be okay. This happened many years ago, probably about 15, and I would say that I was about 10 years old. At the time, I lived with my parents and my older brother. I think it was a Friday, and I remember after getting home from school, my parents and brother were going to go shopping. They asked me if I wanted to come with, and I said no because I really wanted to play video games at that moment, and I wasn't really interested in going with. When they left, I figured they would be gone for maybe a couple of hours. I went upstairs to my room and started playing video games. It was kind of my after school thing to do back then. I started it up and my game hadn't even loaded yet when all of a sudden I heard a noise coming from the hallway. It was the upstairs hallway right outside my bedroom. This was really strange and I remembered I listened but I didn't hear anything for a few more seconds. Then there was another noise. It was definitely coming from right outside my bedroom door. My door was already open but not all the way, maybe three feet or so, so I decided to look out. I walked over to the doorway and leaned my head just out and looked. As soon as I did, I saw a man climbing down the ladder that we had which led up to the attic. I pulled my head back into the room. He hadn't seen me because his back was facing me when he was climbing down, but I just hoped he hadn't heard me. At first, I was really confused. I knew our house wasn't being worked on, so why was there a guy coming down from our attic? I heard him begin to walk down the hallway towards my door. As quietly as I could, I got onto the ground and slid underneath my bed. The man walked right past my room and then headed down the stairs. I got as far underneath my bed as I could and hoped that the man wouldn't come back. I heard him move around a little bit downstairs, especially because my ear was up against the floor. I was too scared to get up or move. It felt like forever that I was laying there. I couldn't call the police because I didn't have a cell phone back then. We had a home phone, but that was downstairs. In my mind, my best bet was to just stay hidden. I kept laying there, and I really have no idea how long it was, but I remember eventually hearing him walking back up the stairs. I closed my eyes and held my breath when he got to the top of the stairs. He once again just walked right past my door, and then seemingly went back up into the attic when things were quiet once again. I thought about leaving my hiding place, but ultimately was too scared. I remained there until I heard our front door unlock, and then heard the voices of my parents and brother downstairs. At that time, I ran down as fast as I could and told them what had happened. At first, they didn't believe me and my dad seemed to think it was funny, but eventually, when my dad went up into the attic, he said he immediately saw signs that someone had been up there. He didn't see the guy himself, but enough to know that there was somebody in there. He closed it and we called the police. We went outside and waited, and eventually, when the police got there, they were able to catch the man. He had been living in our attic for several days. We rarely went up to our attic or used it back then. It was just really a storage place for us. I don't know how the man didn't hear me in my room at first, but I always feel lucky that he didn't. I live alone in a small one bedroom house. For me, it's the perfect size, and I've lived here for about a year. But shortly after I first moved in, I had a terrifying experience. I was sitting in the living room one night and watching TV. I was very comfortable on my couch, and I think it was about 10.30 at night. Out of nowhere, I started to hear a noise coming from the other end of the house. It was kind of quiet. It sort of sounded like it was coming from inside the wall. Immediately, I started to fear what I thought was the worst at the time, which is that there would be mice in my house. But I would eventually find out that it was something different. I turned the volume down on my TV to listen closely. Eventually, I did hear the noise again. I just couldn't quite tell what it was, 
so I walked over to where I was hearing it. I went through the end of the living room towards the pantry and then the attached garage. I realized that's where the noise was coming from. I could hear somebody walking around in there. I was a little scared, but I opened my garage door and looked around. It was a one-car garage and really dark in there. I turned on the light, which wasn't that bright, but I could now see. But I didn't see anybody at all. I looked all around and there was nothing. There wasn't really a whole lot of space, but the longer I had the door open and was looking around, the more freaked out I was feeling. I shut the door and then went back inside. I listened for more noise and just hoped whoever was in there would leave and not try to go in the house. As I was inside, I kept listening for a while, but I didn't hear anything else now, so I thought maybe looking in the garage had scared off whoever was there. Eventually, I was able to go back to watching TV and later got tired and went to sleep. The next morning, when I woke up, I had forgotten all about what happened the previous night. I left my room and walked into the kitchen, but froze as I did. I noticed that my front door to the house was wide open. I walked over to the garage door and saw that that was open as well. This was extremely creepy to me, because obviously I had closed and locked them the night before. I looked all around the house everywhere, but nobody was there. Somebody had been in my house the previous night. I don't know who they were or how they got in, but I'm just glad they left. Since then, I haven't had any problems.